Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Japan, where I show you cool stuff about 3D and about Japan. In this video, we'll be talking about TerraGen 4. This software is just for making really cool 3D environments. It's been used in really big recent movies like Missing Link and games like Halo 5 Guardians. I'd like to thank the people at Planetside Software for sending me the license so that I can show the software to you. Now let's get right into the software. Okay, so here we are in the TerraGen interface. Uh, this is what you first see when you first open the program. So the first thing that I saw was these nodes, and I hate working with nodes. So thankfully, you don't need to use them you know, for basic stuff. So you can pretty much either close the window or just shrink this down. In fact, I recommend just shrinking it down for reasons we'll get into later. Uh, but then on the left side here, we have our uh, controls. Uh, for whatever tool is being used. Uh, up here we have our item list for the, the tool that's being used or the items you're working with. And then across the top here we have these tabs that are basically the tools you'll be using. So we have library, objects, terrain, shaders, water, atmosphere, lighting, camera, renders, and the node network which is what we see down here. So then of course we have our main viewport here with the 3D view. And if we want to get around this we can use the Alt key to drag around and we can rotate. And you'll see a lot of it just disappears around the edges but as soon as you let go it reappears and rebuilds the geometry in the scene. Uh, then you can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I find that kind of slow, so there's another way I'll show you that I think is a lot faster. Uh, then you can use the right mouse button to pan with the Alt key. So uh, like I was saying, there is an easier way I think that gives you a lot more control is this little icon up here. If we click that, boom, it expands out and now we have all these navigation controls so we can go off to the side, left and right, in and out, and you can see it's kind of slow now but there's a speed control down here so if I turn it all the way up then it goes really fast. Right, left and right, okay, and then here we have up and down, and can rotate the camera and all kinds of different controls rotating the camera there and zooming in and out so yeah I usually use this for all my panning and moving uh, let's fix this oops there we go uh, and then for actually rotating the view, I'll use the Alt plus the mouse button. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit and go up. And let's find a, a nice mountain we can put in our view. Say, uh, this looks like a good mountain over here. So let's uh, use Alt and drag and you'll notice that the camera is still down here. Uh, we'll fix that later. So you're not actually moving the camera as you're moving around. It's just the viewport. So let's zoom in. Move this over a little bit. I'm gonna, now that I'm zoomed in closer, I'm going to slow this down. So I can be a little more precise. Okay, we're getting a nice mountain view. And I'll rotate up a little bit. 
I want to get some mountains in the background too, so see what we can do with that. Um, let's see if there's a taller mountain. Well, I think that's about it. So, okay, we'll stick with this view. And so let's add some clouds. Uh, I've got kind of a boring sky up there, so we'll come up here to atmosphere. And you'll notice the entire viewport changes. So we've got a nice haze, and we've got a slightly more realistic looking sky with the sun up there. And so we can add some clouds. So we'll come up here. We have controls for the atmosphere right here. So you can change the, the haze density, make it really hazy, foggy kind of. Uh, but we'll put that back and then we can add new cloud layer so let's add some high level clouds some high cirrus clouds I like that and you can see they appear pretty much right away and right now we're kind of getting a, a low res look even once it finishes uh, generating detail which we can see up here see now it says finished rendering but it still looks kind of crummy so if you want it to look better while you work you can hit this RTP is the ray traced preview so we can click that and it takes a few seconds you'll want to make sure that your geometry is finished uh, rendering first because otherwise it'll display this really nice look on really crummy geometry <laughs> But yeah, this looks a lot better. And now as you're working with the clouds, it can update them in real time. So you can change the cloud altitude, make them lower. Can't even see them now. Much higher. Okay, and the depth. So you really make them thicker and it really changes the look. I want thin, wispy clouds right now. Okay, and that looks pretty nice. It's maybe not quite so thin. <laughs> want to make them actually visible. So let's add some puffier clouds. Let's uh, add cloud layer and I'll come down to low level small cumulus. And load up and yeah, we get some nice little puffy ones. I think that looks good. We can change the coverage, can change uh, the cloud density. Let's see, lower it down a little bit. Not quite that much. There we go. So it's all about you know fiddling with controls to and, you know until you get it just the way you like it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that looks good coverage maybe a little bit more because we're gonna have a sunset back there so I wanna have a you know I don't, some clouds but I don't want it to be too crazy so it blocks our nice looking Sun so yeah there we go and of course we can change the color lighting tweaks animation uh, which we won't be working with in this video, but uh, you know, quality, customization, or optimization, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. So let's adjust our lighting. So we have sunlight one. Uh, I guess you could add another sun, but right now this is a realistic scene on Earth, so we're only going to have one sun. So let's uh, temporarily turn off the RTP. 
and right now we don't really have the sun in our scene but if you look at this little compass thing up here it's a little bit hard to see right now but around the outside of it you may notice a little white dot which represents where the sun is and so down here we have the sun heading so we can turn it around and as I move the slider you can see that dot rotating around and it represents where the sun is so right now the sun should be right in front of us there we go except it's a little above the camera view so let's bring it down and you notice as we bring it down towards the ground you can see it right here is a little crosshair representing it but you can see as I bring it down the sky colors change just like a real sunset let's turn the RTP back on yeah it's looking nice already oh let's uh, we got our crappy geometry here let's turn that off and let it finish generating the detail It's not going to touch anything until it's done. Okay, finish. Okay, so now let's turn on the RTP. And we'll get much nicer looking ground. And that's nice there. I'm thinking I'm going to move it over here. We'll see how that looks. Let's move it over. And then we'll bring it down a little bit more. Like so. Yeah, that's pretty nice, but it's a little bit too dim for my liking. Let's bring it up a little bit. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, I think I want to move this the camera view forward a little bit. So let's uh, just move our camera in a little bit. Turn off the RTP, it'll make it faster. Yeah, I think that's better. Down a little. And let's see about that. So as far as I can know, this is all uh, processor-based, CPU-based rendering. So you know, depending on how fast your CPU is, you may be waiting a lot. You know, every time you change something, you might be waiting a minute to see the result. But okay, finished. Let's turn on the RTP. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's looking pretty nice. So I'm not going to deal with the ground textures in this video, but you know, for now they're just kind of gray, rocky looking. <laughs> but I'm looking at that sunset and boy, it really looks nice. I really like that. So let's look at how to render that. So come over to the renderers tab. Uh, before we actually render, here's I mentioned earlier that the camera is not actually in this position. We're just looking through the, you know, we're just adjusting the viewport here. So if you come down to this button in the very bottom left of the viewport, this will copy what you're currently looking at to the camera. So basically it'll move the camera to this location. So we'll just click that and we don't actually see anything really happen but now when you render it'll be this view. 
So let's go up to our renderers tab. And right now it's set to 800 by 450. You can change this to whatever you want. You know, make it 1080p, or 720p, etc. But other than that, we can just come down here and click render image. And I'll come up here and you see it makes all these little dots first that's the ray tracing starting and once it's finished making those dots we see it makes these blocks of really odd colors but then I'm not sure exactly what it's doing at this point but after it finishes that you would get the final render and it goes pretty quick actually Of course, on a much larger render, it will take longer. But it's not really that long. And right now, we're still under a minute, and we're about half done. And there we go, we're finished. That took under two minutes to get this gorgeous sunset render. And I'm really happy with that. So there we have it. That's a quick look at the basic interface of TerraGen 4 and how to set up a basic sunset. We looked at the you know, moving the camera around, choosing your location, and setting up some clouds and atmosphere, and positioning the sun, and then just getting our render done. So if you liked this video, Please uh, give it a like and subscribe, please. I have uh, a very small number of my viewers are actually subscribed. And I could really use the extra subs. So I thank you very much in advance for subscribing. And thank you again to the Terragen people for sending me this license to do these videos with. And I'll see you next time.